Hi folks, back again. Uh, just a wee quick one tonight. We've got two floats that we've been working on and I'm going to get them to a point tonight where they're virtually finished. First one is the goose quill. Uh, you should be able to see there that it's had I think about eight coats of lacquer and is pretty well nearly finished. The only thing we're going to do tonight on this one is sign it on this section here between the whipping as we've spoke about in the past. So I'll sign that tonight. That'll take two days to dry the ink. Uh, it says 24 hours. I like to leave it 48 just to be sure because if you don't leave it long enough as soon as you put a wee bit of lacquer over the top of it it just smudges. So going to do that one. I'll talk about the pen I used in a wee second. A lot of people have asked about that in the past, so I'll have a wee chat about that. The other one I've got is the Norfolk Reed Waggler, which is this, and I took the liberty of lacquering that up, as you can see, no doubt. That's had about eight or nine coats of lacquer too. I'm going to paint the tip on it tonight, on the, the white section here. I'm going to use an orange paint, again in a kind of traditional colour that I like to use. What I'll do is I'll paint the tip on it and I'll sign it on the stem. Again using the same pen that I use. So I'll get on with that. What I'll do, I'll turn the camera down a wee bit so you can see what I'm doing rather than pointing up to the sky and looking at my ugly mug again. So tilt the camera down. As I like to call it, my phone. <laughs> right, this is the pen I use. Uh, it's been asked about quite a few times. It's a Unipin fine line, uh, water and fed proof, once dry, not straight away, once dry, uh, pigment ink. Uh, this one's 0.2mm, I've also got 0.1mm that I use for really fine floats, floats and fine writing. Uh, great pens, keep the cap on them at all times because they dry out pretty easily. So I'll go ahead and write my name on this float here, in this wee section here. Nothing fancy about this, it's, I just write it as I would normally write, which is not very neat, but we'll give it a go. So, on like that. And read it. Straightforward, like that, and on it goes. Nothing fancy. So, set that one at the side. That'll dry a couple of days. Two quick coats of lacquer over that, and that's that float complete. Now, what I'm going to do with this one, first of all, cap back the pen. So, set that there out the road. I'm going to paint the orange tip on. I'm going to use an orange paint tonight. Uh, now when it comes to paint, again, it's personal choice. I like to use an acrylic, artist acrylic paint. This is the orange I'm going to use. Keep it in a tin. That's two tubes in the tin. Squish it in. Keep the lid on it nice and tight. Should last for donkey's ages. Probably showed you before, but this is the type of paint I use. Get it for you. Home bargains. 99 pence a tube. It's a gamboge colour, the other one's just an orange. Other paints you can use for the tips. Uh, Revel, aqua colour is the one I like. That's a luminous red. Loads of different colours in that. That's good for body colours and things as well. There's a huge range of colours. There's a black one. Uh, what else have we got here? There's a dark, dark green. Again, nice for stems and colours, things like that. Uh, what else is there? Use a lot of greens, different greens. That one's a greenish grey, which is a nice colour as well. Really nice colour, actually. They do a few luminous. They do luminous yellow, which is that one. Luminous red, which is this one. And they do a luminous orange too. Water-based, very easy to clean up. No smell. Dries in about an hour. 
maximum uh, depending on your drying conditions so as we've done before I'll paint the tip on this one just say nice and easy you bit of paint on the brush not too much you don't want it to be all nice and thick so on the tip and then I like to as I've said before leave a wee white band good for a show so I'll come kind of two thirds and a third using the square fronted brush again a bit much paint on it just nice light brush strokes brush strokes turn and float as we go goes nice and even like that now what I'm going to do is I'll give this one a wee signature and then that means that the paint and the pen can dry at the same time so don't know I always like to do my signatures the same way always start in the same direction and, and write in the same direction start at the same point sorry write in the same direction so go on the bottom There it goes. Nice and easy. And that's as much as I'm going to do tonight. Let them dry. Final bit of whipping on here and here. And then all I've got to do is lacquer the tip and lacquer over my signature. And that'll be two floats that we've started on complete. And then, got a wee thing I'm going to throw in at the end of the day too. Okay folks, thanks very much for watching. Cheers.